as some of you know, I love the gym. It's been a big part of my life for the better part of five years. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you what I take to the gym with me. By the way, if you want any products in this video, you'll find the link in the description. So let's start off with the bag itself. This bag is pretty cool. I actually really like it. I had a, I had a Nike bag before, but the strap broke. And so I just thought I'd replace it really quickly. And I just grabbed one off Amazon. I think it's an L&M bag. I'll link it in the description. It's quite small. I really liked it. How it's even got like this pocket at the front over here that I just keep my gloves in. More about the gloves a little later on but it was like, it was just really nice. It was like small enough to kind of like just sling on my shoulder and just carry around the gym with me. So it's so got this really cool compartment on the side over here where I can just pretty much just put wet clothes, whether I be, you know, going for a swim or like if I hit um, the sauna or the steam, I can just chuck my wet clothes in there rather than just having to use a plastic bag. So yeah. Now you may have seen this one before, but my go-to set of earphones is the AirPods Pro. I used to use the AirPods second gen, but as soon as I got the AirPods Pro, it's just been fantastic. The app of choice that I use to listen to my audiobooks is Audible. I feel like it's just perfect. Like I listen to Brandon Sanderson, Stormlight Archive when I'm like working out. It's just been so good. Otherwise, podcast I'm currently obsessed with is Huberman Lab. It's like a neuroscience kind of psychology podcast. Um, so it's like really, really cool. All about like health and humans and like biomechanics and all that sort of stuff. So like, I really enjoy listening to that sort of stuff. Sometimes I listen to nothing at all. And like, I just use the noise canceling feature to like drown out the noise of that annoying, repetitive playlist that they play at the gym. Or alternatively, I listen to sad Bollywood music because why not? All right, the next thing is this resistant band. I feel like this one's from Kmart. I feel like it came in a set of three, but I think the other two broke. This is the this is the stronger one. I use this one particularly for my back. Um, I had a if, had a couple of issues with my rhomboids and my like my levator scap on my back, and so generally whenever I do a back day before I do any pull ups or anything just to warm up my back, I do like a few sets of um of these with the with the um with the with the resistor band just to kind of like engage the muscles in my back so that they fire and they activate um before I get into any of the um any of the weights. Another set of resistance bands. That I use are these ones over here. These ones also came in a set of three. These are perfect for me for like leg days. It's just a really great way of like firing up the glutes and the um and the and the hip flexors. Um, because I found that when I when I don't do any of the warm up exercises with those resistance bands, I just feel like I'm working the wrong muscles. Whereas when I do the when I do the warm ups first using those and I activate all those muscles, I just feel like the workout's a lot better. I just feel a lot more stronger when I'm doing a squat or I'm doing a deadlift. I just feel like it's it's so much more effective. And on to the next thing. These are figure eight straps. Now I don't use this too often, but I got this as a birthday gift from a good friend of mine. And I use this particularly when I feel like my grip strength is failing and like I have a few more sets to do. I just chuck these on and like wrap it around the barbell. And then that way it takes a little bit of, um, a little bit of the weight off the, off the actual hands and the wrists. I um, mean, it puts it more on the forearm. Um, and that way I can just continue lifting pretty heavy. All right, and the next thing and most importantly, are these gloves. Now these gloves are probably the most important thing for me ever at the gym. I never train without these gloves. I know a lot of people that go to the gym are gonna give me flack for this, but honestly, it's made a massive difference for me. The reason why these gloves are so important to me is because I feel like I have this mental association with them and working out. Like I could be completely wrecked and like not focused at all, but as soon as I put these gloves on, like everything changes. All right, next thing. This is my water bottle of choice. This is the Buzio. I also got this one off Amazon. It's not bad, it's pretty good. It's nice metal, really big. So it like holds a lot of water, holds a lot of fluid. So I just carry this around with me at the gym. It's a little bit heavy, but I do really like it. The fact that it's metal and it's not plastic. Here's another thing. This is an Iron Edge peanut roller. I also got this um, as a gift from a friend of mine. This is like so good. I like, sometimes I feel like I forgot, like my back's a little bit tight. I kind of just like put it down and I just lie back on it. It's so good for like any sort of like muscle or like even just a little bit of joint release. Like I don't, like I, I'm very, I'm quite careful with it, especially on my back, but it's been, oh, it's so nice. I sometimes even roll, I even use this to roll either my hamstrings or like my quads. Cause it's just like, it's a bit hard, it's a bit tough, but oh, it feels so good. Another thing that I use to roll is this, um, is this massage ball. This is also a gift. I just realized like a lot of the stuff that I have in my gym bag are actually gifts from people. Um, but this is like, this is fantastic. I use this as a down ball and sometimes a four square ball as well. I'm kidding, I don't, I don't do that. At first glance, it kind of looks like a down ball or like a four square ball and like, I wouldn't recommend using it. It's like really, really hard, really, really tough, but it's really, really good once again for joints or like even just hip flexors. If I'm feeling a little bit tight in some areas, it's just nice to kind of like just put this down and kind of like lie on it. And if I can do a little bit of motion, but it's, 
It hurts quite a lot, but this is like perfect for like any sort of like release in any like joints or even like muscles in particular. I found like even just using this, popping it there or even just like even slightly rolling on it to like a, like a obviously very cautiously. It's just, it's so good. Once again, it hurts, but it's like, it's an amazing feeling after. On the theme of massage, we have this massage gun right here. This is like, this is, this is what, this was one of the lockdown purchases. Like I was buying a lot of things in lockdown and this is one of the random things. I've been, I remember when I was first trying to get this, I was trying to get my hands on this for like months. I only got this after like three months. This is from Kmart. It was like 80 bucks. It is like perfect. So good. Came with like attachments and everything. Plus the battery and life on this is like ridiculous. Ridiculous. I feel like I have, I feel like I barely need to charge it. So it uses like once or twice a week and for like 20, 30 minutes at a time. And it's like, it's so good for like muscle, um, like warming up muscles or even just recovery side of things. It's so good. I actually don't think Kmart sells these anymore. Um, so I'm really glad I got one when I did. This one is actually one of the good purchases that I made in lockdown. And the last thing is this is gym towel, cause sweat. <laughs> And that's it. This is pretty much what's in my gym bag. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like it and you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.